Okay, <clears throat> so um, we're going to do P2A together. We already kind of wrote it out in those notes on paper, so you might have that handy. Mm, we're going to go to Blue Jay. Okay, now it's going to open up whatever I was working on last. So, um, let's see, we are going to close that project and we will create a new project, new project. <clears throat> okay. Now we need to put this in a new folder. So we're going to go, it's in my unit one folder right now. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to create a new folder and call it unit two. I want you to do the same thing. It should be in a folder that you just have for computer science stuff. Uh, so then we're going to go in there and we're going to call it P2A project. So this is actually one of your first assignments. So we're going to kind of do it together. P2A project. That's why I want everyone to name it. Uh, okay, so we want to go to new class, and this is where we give a more specific name. This is the song class, so this is what we are writing down, capital S, song class. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, and uh, we're going to say public class song. Opening curly brace. Closing curly brace. I'm going to comment it right now. End class song. Okay. Now, there's no main method in here. We're actually creating the guts of what a song is. Creating the ability to make a song object. So um, we're going to put some comments. We're going to add some notes to this. Some of the stuff that we wrote down, we'll put it in here, and this might be a good source. So I'm going to start with the big three and uh, one <clears throat> uh, instance private, you know, private uh, instance variables. And just some notes about what that is. Uh, the word private in front is the visibility. Um, visibility and uh, means uh, something I only no, uh, the user can't change or see unless I give them a way to, and I might just do that. Uh, this is something we call information hiding, okay? And now we're going to go and create them. Now remember, when we create these variables, it's kind of like we're creating cups uh, of certain types. So we're creating a place to store these things, but we're not going to put anything. But nothing in them yet. So we're just going to declare them. Okay. Um, you write just declaring. Okay. Private string artist. Don't initialize it. Private string title. Private 
double cost private boolean is downloaded. Now, if I'm going too fast, pause the video, catch up. This is also mostly stuff we wrote down already on another piece of paper that you could use. Okay, next in the big three is number two, the constructors and zero or zero and multi arc. You don't have to have both all the time, but we're going to do both for now. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, now what these are, <clears throat> these are used for initialization. And this is actually the thing that creates the object. So those provinces variables don't really belong to anything yet. Must have same name as class and need parentheses in which arguments go. Even if it's zero R, you're still going to have them. So public song parentheses so that's how you that's the header of a zero hour constructor you have curly braces we're going to tab everything in on the inside close the curly braces might as well just comment right now in <clears throat> zero arg constructor i like to close the curly braces when i'm in here because it kind of changes the color and i kind of see that block of color so in here we're going to say artist equals now you know we could actually force it to have certain default values and i'll just do that right now you can say well the artist is gonna be a new string the uh, beatles and uh title a new string yesterday and Cost is not an object. That's it's a primitive, so we don't do new or anything like that. And is unloaded equals false. So I mean, we could do that, but we're not going to. So I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm just going to say no or any kind of string or object, because null is like the lack of, of, of an object. Primitives, I'm gonna say zero for numbers and false for Boolean. So this is a typical zero R constructor. Now, since we're gonna be doing the same thing for the multi R constructor, we could just copy this, control C, Control V. Now here we're going to write the multi R constructor. So down here I'm going to change in zero R constructor to multi R constructor. Here I got to say I got to show what kinds of things I expect to get as arguments. String initial artist. So I give it a temporary name, comma string initial title. Now. By the way, this is gonna be kind of long and it's gonna go off my screen, which is gonna make it hard for you guys to see. So, and, and just for yourself, you can always move things around. You can move this down here and kind of line it up right there just to make it kind of easier to read. <clears throat> Java doesn't see that as any different than leaving it up on the future line, uh, above line, because there's no semicolon telling Java to, to read it as the end of a statement. So we could go and do this with all of these if you want, you don't have to. Um, double initial cost but it's kind of nice boolean initial is down loaded so i like using these names initial 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 with whatever it is and then in here we say well the artist is going to be assigned initial artist and the order matters. You have to have artists on the left, initial artists on the right. Initial 
title. Initial cost. Initial is down loaded. Use that com camel notation. So, so far we have the constructors. Uh, the next thing is going to be the two string. So number three of the big three is a uh, two string method. So this is a method that gives you a nice printable version of your object. So you can print it out in a window. Turns into a nice printable String. Uh, it uh, stringifies it. That's a very non technical term, but makes it into a string. Uh, it returns something of type string and takes no arguments. Shouldn't, shouldn't need anything from you. It's just going to take what's already there and return a nice string version of it, okay? So um, we need to make it public, identify that it's going to return a string, give the name of the method to string, and you got to put uh, empty parentheses. So this kind of looks like the constructor, right? Except that it has a return. String <clears throat> in curly braces, closing curly braces, end method to string. So I want you to comment in curly braces. So we need a return statement. Now you could do a bunch of stuff and then return that thing, or if it's simple, something as simple as this, we could just say the song, <coughs> you know, is. And put extra space there plus title plus uh, quotation space by space quotation plus uh, the artist name. It's a little different than what I wrote down. It doesn't happen. There's not like one right way of making two string, but it, it should be. Show all the privacy and variables, but add some stuff so that the person seeing it understands what they are and not just a bunch of lists and words and numbers and stuff. And costs. Close. Now, I'm always putting these extra spaces. Otherwise, you're going to get these words right up next to these things. And if you forget to do that, it should be obvious when you try this out. <clears throat> <clears throat> and is uh, downloaded that's gonna be boolean so we could say colon plus is downloaded something like that um and so that's that's it you need a semicolon at the end so i just made this one big thing now like i said even before you could move some of these things down to the next line just to make it easier to read java doesn't really care about tabbing spacing new lines and stuff like that that's just to make it easier to read so that's what I'm usually going for. All right. Um, so now we're going to go on to the dynamic duo. Getters and setters. So number four, it's getter or accessor methods. They do they get and and return information 
about the state of the object. So the state meaning like what what's its current version of itself? What's its title? What's its artist? What's its cost? What's its, its downloaded? Um, the values of its instance variables that you don't have access to. So this gives you access to private instance variables. <clears throat> so necessary if the client needs to get this information um, private <clears throat> private variables okay so you got to give them a way to do it a client you might think of as like a customer or something like that it could just be another class that uses this class we'd call it a client class so public public it's going to return a string if we do get title get title zero arg shouldn't need anything from us and it's very simple return title that's it and method this is a method get title so it's as simple as that getters are very simple they just they just uh Give you the information that's there. So we could do other ones too. We could say public boolean get is downloaded return is downloaded. In method get is Downloaded. So we usually just would get in the front of whatever it is. Now I'm not going to do the other two. If we need those, then you should create them. Um, next one are the setters. Number five. Setter. Or fancier term for that is mutator. Mutator. Methods. So to mutate something is change it, change, change what it is. And that's what these do. These change the actual song object. It gives, gives it new values. Okay. So uh, change values of private instance variables. So you need, you need this because they're private. So this gives you the ability to change them. Usually have a return type uh, of void uh, since don't return anything. Okay, you're not trying to get anything out of it. You're trying to give it something new. And usually take an argument. If you want to change value, you probably got to tell it what you want to change it to. So public, it needs to be public, void because it doesn't return anything, set title. And then in here we need to say, well, what do we expect as an argument? We expect a string, capital S, and then you need to give it a temporary name, new title. Seems appropriate. And we could say title equals new title. And what we did was we just changed Title was end method set title. And a lot of times we would have these for all the private instance variables. Now I'm just going to do one. Say public void set cost. Now we should pass a double as an argument. New cost. And uh, opening curly brace, closing curly brace, 
end method set cost uh, cost equals new cost. There you go. So pretty simple stuff. And then next thing would be uh, the brain. So, this is where you know, uh, classes will vary a lot depending on what you need them to do. It could be public or private. You could create a method that does something that you don't want another class have access to, but maybe it'll do something that you need for something else. Uh, so maybe we call them like helper methods sometimes. So they could be public though. So processor uh, method or methods, I have another one, uh, algorithmic, Processing does all the work. Um, we did one in class. Um, I don't think we necessarily need one right now. Oops. But now I'll say that usually we put the two string at the bottom. So I'm going to come up here and move the two string. Cut control C. No, wait, sorry, control X. And usually you just put it at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Usually you put it at the bottom. Um, so, okay, I think, uh, I think that's all we're going to do together now. Um, well, actually we need to create a driver. So I think we're done with this. So we could close this and we could compile it, right click compile. And it doesn't like something. Um, so it doesn't like the fact that it broke this up. Maybe if we put the plus down here and get rid of the plus here, maybe that'll make it happy. Let's try that. Compile. Nope. So I guess it doesn't like the fact. Oh, this is what's wrong. You need a plus right here. Okay. You need a plus right there. That's what I was missing. So I think it should compile now. There we go. So... So it's there, it's compiled now. We can't run it. We can't right click on this and run it. We could open it. So we need a new class with a main method so we can actually do something. So we're gonna call this one song driver, capital S, camel notation. So we're usually gonna do whatever the class name is, driver. And <clears throat> I'm gonna open that up, get rid of what's inside here. And this is gonna be more like what you're used to what we've been doing. Public class song driver. And class song driver. And then we're gonna do that typical thing. Public static void main string args opening curly brace closing curly brace end method main so that's the main method you need that to be able to run it okay so this is where we're going to try and create some song objects. So, um, let's try to use our constructors, both of them. 
So I'm going to say, I'm going to create a song, uh, a variable, my song one, song type, and then I'm going to say new song, and I'm going to use the zero R constructor. Try it out. And then I'm going to try to use one that uses the multi arb song. You know, I could say the Beatles. Got to put in quotations, comma. Yesterday, you can use whatever you want. You can use different songs if you want. Um, 199 and false. For instance, right? Make for another one. My song three equals new song Weezer. Buddy Holly. Funny song. One forty nine. True. We want to try different things, okay? So I've, I've made some songs. So now I'm going to try and use system.out.println, and I want to print one of these songs out. So I can do my song one dot two string. So that would create the string version of the song and then print it out. But Here's the good news. I don't want you to do that anymore. That's technically the best way to call a method is to do dot dot the method name on uh, object of that type. But Java is smart, and we do this so much that if you just did like that my song two, and you didn't do dot two string, it will look for the dot two string for you and use it. That's the reason why we call it dot. That's the reason we, why we do two string is that most most classes have a two string and Java will look for it for you, right? And so then we could. So you want to you want to print all these out, see if they did the right thing. Colin, my song three. I like to leave a little extra space between my parentheses so it's easy to read. Um. So, I mean, let's try it. Let's compile it. Let's see if it compiles, it compiles. So we could close it. Now there's two boxes here. There's two classes and there's a window now, there's an arrow now going from this. And that, what that represents is something called class composition. That means that the song driver class has song objects inside of it. Now you wanna right click on the song driver and it has a, main method so that you can actually run this. So run it, and there it goes. It print everything out. Now I'm gonna look closely to make sure there's there's all the right spacing. Read through it, make sure it looks good, okay? Now you'll notice that the zero arg one used null, null, 0.0, .0 and false. So looks like everything works. Now, I have a totally completed P2A for you. So you're pretty much almost done, but go back, look at P2A, and let's take a quick look at the assignments. Let's look at the assignment. So um, this is the assignment. And so you're going to do P2A. There's a couple things in there that we didn't do that you get to do, but you can use, you can pretty much use um, our song class. That was uh, the first part of it, right? And then you need to do the second part here in the driver. There's a couple things that I did in the driver that. Now, after that, you're going to go ahead and try P2B yourself. Create one from scratch. Don't copy and paste from the song class. If there's little bits and pieces from within a class, go ahead and copy and paste those, but not from one class to the other. I want you to get used to this going through this process because when you guys take a test, 
and you've just been copying and pasting it from one program to the next, you're not going to remember how to do it. Okay? So do P2B. Now, um, for now, I want you to skip P2C, <clears throat> D, and E because I'm going to have to show you how to use Greenfoot. So don't worry about that right now. After you do P2B, if you're looking for something else to do, I want you to jump all the way down here to P2F, G, H, those last three, F, G, and H. They're pretty much review of stuff from last chapter. They don't even really use the stuff we just talked about. They don't use the class stuff. But you can go ahead and do those. Um, there are some new ideas, though, that we will encounter in those assignment problems. We'll discuss them as we as we go. So after P2B, jump to P2F, G, and H. Okay, and then at some point soon, I'll give you guys a little lesson on how to use Greenfoot, and then you can go back and do P2C, D, and E. So that's it for right now.